because God because is still God, God. and we're going to start, start with joy, joy to the world, to the world which, which should, should be, be number, number 70, 40, 40 seven 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 in your in book, your and we and should, should have, have the words, words coming, coming up, up on the screen, screen. With, with icing, icing worship. worship, so we're going to stand, stand up, up. No, it's no, it's not 47, it's 49, 49, 49. we're going to stand, stand up, up. Happy, happy Christmas! Christmas. And sing, and sing joy, joy to, the to the world together, together on, Christmas on Christmas Day. Day. Hopefully, Hopefully the, music the music will stop. Will stop. And we'll do I read read these these words. words. The people people walking walking in darkness darkness have have seen seen a great great light light on those those living living in the land land of deep deep darkness. darkness. A light light has dawned dawned. for For to to us A child child is born. born. To To us, a son son is given. given. And the government will be on on his his shoulders. shoulders. And And he he will will be be called Wonderful, Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, God, Everlasting Father, Father, Prince. Prince. Of peace. Let's pray. Jesus, we needed you so much 2,000 years ago when you were born in the dark and the cold. 
in a place reserved for animals. When you were born to a poor family, living in an invaded land and an, under an oppressive empire, struggling to make ends meet, we needed you. And you came. And 2,000 years later, we need you now. And we thank you that you promise us that you will never leave us. And that you promise us hope and peace and joy and light and goodness. Because you came. struggling to pray. I didn't have the right words. So somebody suggested to me that I bought a prayer colouring book and that I would take the prayers in the colouring book and I would colour them in and as I coloured them in, I would pray the words. And that broke a pattern of struggling to pray for me, because the words that were in black and white became in colour, and God spoke to me through them. So I thought that we would do a similar thing today with the Bible text that I've just read, and I'm going to pick out the important words from that Bible text. And then and I'm going to give them out, out so you so can you think, think about them and, and uh, take, take some time, time to reflect on them. them. So, so these, these are the are words, words that I've chosen, chosen as the as important, important ones one today. today. Prince, Prince of Peace, peace. Mighty, Mighty God. God. Everlasting Father, Wonderful Counselor. And then we have some other words to think about. We have Government. We have Given. We have Son. We have Born. We have Child. And here's an important word. Us. That's why we're That's here, why isn't we're it? Here. Us. So I'm going to give these words out today. Who wants the word? Wonderful. Any takers? Oh, Shirai, you're such a good sergeant. I can rely on you, even when you're tired to volunteer. This is how you know you've got a quality guy. He volunteers even when he doesn't want to. <laughs> Wonderful. We've got to give these all out, so I think you'll all have to have one. Counselor. Who wants the word counselor? Anybody? Peggy, that's the word for you. Esther, I could see that you agree with what I was saying. Would you like to find us? Any takers? Any 
peace. You have competition, though, but you were the first off the mark. Okay. What about all? Oh, let's see. Prince. Any princes amongst us? Go on, Carlos. Be a prince today. today, today. One, one word that you've that been you've given, given. And, I and I just want, want you to spend, spend one minute privately and quietly thinking, thinking about, about what that, that word, word means, means to you, you. The, word the word that you've that chosen, chosen or the word, word that's been chosen, chosen for you, you. what does what that, that word mean to you and we're just going to close our eyes and have, and have a, moment a moment of stillness, of stillness. and think, think about, about what that what word that means. means. Let's pray. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your word, for the word that was given to us. Both far away and long ago in Bethlehem, and here in Catford today. And I pray that your Holy Spirit will speak through these words that have been given to us today and that you will make them come alive in glorious technicolor. So I'm so going to ask, ask you a question. question. I'm, not I'm not going to ask, ask you, you about uh, what, God what God said, said to, you to you in the few in moments of silence we had. Time. But I am I going am to ask, ask you a different, different question. question. Michael, Michael, could you could give... give uh, and this and is this a is bit of a random, random question. question. Okay. okay. If you if had you to had choose, choose a colour for your, your word, word, what colour would it be? Does that, does that sound strange, strange or does that, does make, that sense? make sense? So, so Patience, Patience knows, knows straight away, away what colour her, her word, word is. is. So I'm so going to give, as she said, the word peace should, should be green. green. Okay. okay. Sorry, I don't know. Do you think like this or am I being a bit strange? I better explain why I've got the wings on. I just wanted to be part of the story. <laughs> so if you want to be part of the story, there's more wings at the back. 
today. Okay, okay. has anybody has else got a colour for their, their word, word, or am or I being a bit strange? Yellow. 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 What's your, your word? word? Sun. And why is that yellow? Thinking bright and colourful. I always, I always think, think that, that yellow, yellow is the colour of, of hope. hope. Okay. okay. Now my, my colour, my word my is, is father. father. Okay. okay. And, um, and um, this is going to sound, sound very, very strange, strange, but the word, but the word father, father for me is navy, navy blue. blue. Okay. I don't know I don't if it's because my dad, dad was a Salvation, Salvation Army officer, officer and he was always in navy blue. Or whether it's to do with the Salvation Army flag, because blue is the colour that we associate with the Father. But for me, the word Father is navy blue. And I'm just going to quickly shade that in now. I'm getting nervous because you're all really quiet, and I don't know if you're sitting there thinking that I'm a strange woman today, and you're regretting that you came. Has anybody, anybody else, else got, got a colour for, for their, their word? Oh, red. 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 What's your, What's word, your word again? again? Wonderful. 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 Why is the word wonderful red? I think it represents the wonder of the world. The wonder. And the wonder of God's gift to us. Yes. So I like red. Red's my, my favourite colour. colour. So, so sometimes, sometimes I colour in, in the important, important words in red, red so, that so that they stand, stand out, out to me, so that so I, I notice them. Because I think, think there's something, something about, about red letters, letters that, makes that makes them important. important. Has, anybody Has anybody else, I know you're I know feeling, feeling a bit shy, shy. Has, anybody has anybody else thought, thought about, about what, what colour their word is? Pink, what's your word? Mighty. Why have you chosen? If you're mighty, you're noticeable. You're noticeable. Anybody, anybody else? You don't, you don't all have to tell me, but if anybody, anybody else feels inspired, inspired about their about word, word today, today, this is, this your, is chance. your chance. Esther, Esther any, any thoughts, thoughts on the word, on the word us? us? What colour is the word us? us? She doesn't, she doesn't know. know. You know, no, no, what no nobody, nobody said, said today... today Nobody, Nobody has said that their, that their word, word is golden. golden. Mm. That their, that word, their is, word is, is precious. Is precious. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe the word, word us, us is a is golden, golden word. It's something, it's something to, be to be treasured, treasured and valued. valued. I, don't I don't know. Just, Just a, thought. a thought. Okay. okay. We, haven't we haven't finished, finished with, with our colouring in yet. yet. And I'm going to ask, ask some of you... Of you to come, to come forward, forward with particular, particular words, words. Okay. okay? So, so I, want I want to ask, ask the person that's got wonderful, wonderful to come to forward, forward and stand, stand at the front. front. And, the and the person that's, that's got, got counsellor to come, come and stand, stand at the front. front. And the person, and the person that's, that's got, got prince, prince to come, come and stand, stand at the front. front. And the person that's got peace to come, come and stand, stand at the front. At the front. And, the and the person, person that, that has got, got mighty to come, come and stand, stand at the front. At the front. And the person, and the person that's, that's got everlasting to come and stand, stand at the front. At the front. Okay? okay? Michael, Michael, what have, what you, have got? you got? Fun. Can you Can come you and come hold the word for me? Okay. So what we should have is wonderful counsellor, mighty, oh, what's it called? Mighty God. Mighty God. Do you want to come in? Can you come and the word God up for me? Oh, that's the word. Mighty God. Okay? Do you want to next to Okay, okay. Where's my Where's my off on? Where's it gone? Okay. Do you think I'm saying that I'm standing on the word? So 
Okay. okay, Michael, Michael was, worried was worried I'd preach, preach a sermon, sermon and, I and I said I, said I wouldn't, and then, and then I did. did. So many so apologies on Christmas, Christmas Day for preaching the sermon, but we're going to sing another great carol now. We're going to sing, sing Go Tell, tell it, on it on the Mountain that Jesus Christ is here. Is here. Amen. Amen. And it's 36. Sorry, in the carol book. This morning, if you want to sing. 36, 36, go, go tell, tell it on the mountain. On the mountain. I think we I should think stand, stand up. up. If you're if able, able to stand, 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 stand for this minute. We need to be very grateful about her word. She should have the word God. So, uh, so uh, if anybody's got, got the word God, God, can they give it back, back to Gracia? And then we'll, and then we'll sing, sing this song, this song together. together.
get them off now. They're stuck. But what I thought was that we would have this morning a go and tell time. Okay, a time of sharing. Are you alright? Yeah. You're worried about time, aren't you? He's worried about time. Sorry about that. We'd have a go and and tell tell time. time. So if so you've bought a present, present that you were given, given that you want to share, share everybody, everybody with, with, tell everybody, everybody this, morning, this morning, or if something, something wonderful, wonderful has happened, happened this week that you want to share, share, this is this our is go and tell time, time for Christmas, Christmas Day, Day today. Day. I am running on a bit. Michael said half an hour, but I think it might be a bit longer. But never mind. Okay. Still got my 20 minutes, sir. Yeah, he has. He has. Anyone want to go and tell? I just want to thank God for his love, his love. And, and it's the exercise, the exercise that we're doing that's reminding me about, about how wonderful, wonderful our God is. is. And, and I, I held it to the word peace, peace. Because, because I just I think when we're peace, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. Whatever, Whatever the world will throw at me, but because of this peace, peace, I'm okay. And it's funny that our Christmas present was a mug, and on it is almost... 15, 15 Bible, Bible verses, verses on it. On it. Wow. And they're really, they're really profound, profound Bible, Bible verses, verses on it. Like every, like every morning, I wake, I wake up, up, I start up today, today, I woke up, up not every morning, 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 I was just, just reading, reading through the through promises, promises of God. Of God. And, I and I thought, thought that's, that's a message, message for me to hold on to the promises, promises of God. Yeah, that's amazing. Sometimes we do need things written down that we can see every day to remind us, because our memory fails us, doesn't it? So it's good to have some scripture, scripture around, around just to just encourage you. you. Um, um, if you want. Anyone, anyone else? else? I want to, this, this is not very holy, holy but I was, I was given this beautiful, beautiful bracelet, bracelet from my, from my son. son. And, and I'm, I'm just so touched, he's hiding, I'm just so touched that, um, that he thought about me and that he bought me something. It's just, it's just so lovely, isn't it, when somebody remembers us and thinks about us and knows us by name. It says mum on it. So I don't know if that's in case I forget, because I'm turning 50 next year. In case I forget who I am. <laughs> okay. Anyone else want to share something today? You don't have to, but there is an opportunity if you want to share something that you've been given. We have, a, we have a song called uh, All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth. And I got two front teeth for Christmas. Because my old classic ones, the other ones I had kept breaking, because the dentist reckons I got a, a tight bite. So I need a special set of teeth, which meant a very special price. A price. And of course, which also meant that I used to have broken teeth, but now I've got a broken bank account. <laughs> this is useful information, Ivor, if we're ever in a tight spot. So, right, Ivor, we've got a heat bank on Mondays and Wednesdays. You can come along, save money on the heat. If I'm ever in a scrap, Ivor, I'll call on you because you've got strong teeth. And I know you'd be useful. Anyone else want to share something that they've been given or something that's happened this week? You don't have to. No pressure. Michael, have you got anything? I'm doing the sermon. He's doing the sermon. Okay. Well, I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas so far. Oh, she's going to speak. It's great. Hallelujah. We talk about giving, giving. I just want to thank God for giving us Jesus because he first gave and he first loved us. And uh, I believe what we are doing today is giving back to God and uh, telling him how much we love him because he first loved us. It's because of his love for us that he gave us Jesus that gave us the salvation today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for sharing that. Now Michael's going to come and he's going to read his scripture to us and then we're going to sing another song together before he shares his thought for Christmas. So our Bible reading this morning is taken from uh, Luke and it's Luke chapter 2 and we're going to be reading just a couple of verses, just a few verses, 4 to 7. 
Luke, Luke chapter, chapter 2, two verses, verses 4, four to, to 7. seven. And, because and because Joseph was a descendant of King David, his ancient home, he traveled from the village of Nazareth to Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now obviously pregnant. And while they were there, the time for the baby to be born came. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him in snugly, wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and lied him in a manger because there were no lodgings available. We're going to think, think about that briefly in, in just a moment. Uh, but, uh, before but before we do, we do we're going to sing. sing. Elsie should, should pull the video over. over. It should be, um, do you do hear you what, what I hear, hear, Elsie? Is there a number in the book? Lovely. Lovely. Excellent. Excellent. So just so give just us give one, one second, second Elsie, before, before you press play. play. Do you do hear you what you I hear? There we go, 27. 27, 27 if you want to if follow, you follow the book, book. Otherwise, otherwise we can just follow, follow the video. The video. Okay? okay, let's let's, uh, let's stand. stand. I think I today's the day for standing. Stand. Yeah, it is. Just take some moments now to 
consider your your word word on this Christmas day. We just pray that you will be in charge, that you will guide and direct all that happens. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I wonder this morning, can you tell me what all all these these different different places places have in common. common. So So they're not going to come come up on the screen. I'll tell you the places, places. okay? Okay. So So the first first one, one, I believe, believe, if if memory memory serves right, right, Queen Queen Mary Hospital, Hospital. okay? Okay. The Palace Palace of Versailles, the Palace in Pele, a a barn. Yes, I think those are all the ones. So what do so what those, those, those four, four places, places have in common? common. The, 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 the qu- um, Queen, Mary's Queen Mary's Hospital, Hospital Palace, Palace of Versailles, Versailles Palace, Palace of Pele, Pele and, and a barn. They had royalty born in them. Yes. yes. They're all They're places, places where, where, where royalty, royalty was born. Was born. Uh, Palace, uh, Palace of Versailles, Versailles Louis, Louis XVI. XVI. The, the Palace, Palace of, of Pele. Pele is where, is where Alexander, Alexander the, Great the Great was born, born. Uh, uh, and, and uh, Queen, Mary's Queen Mary's Hospital, hospital I, believe, I believe, is where Prince William, William was born. And, and what do we, we what do you think, think about the barn? Jesus. Jesus. It sticks, it sticks out, out a bit, bit doesn't, doesn't it? it? It's not it's the not normal, normal place, place you would you think, think to find the prince, the prince of peace. In fact, in fact, where did, where the, did the wise men go? go? The, wise the wise men didn't, didn't go, go to the barn, the barn straight away, away, did they? They, they stopped, stopped at the palace, palace in, Jerusalem in Jerusalem to ask where the child was. Jesus was born into a very different world, very different circumstance than what we would expect people of royalty to be born into. And yet, we call him the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, above all else. He did it for a reason, didn't he? He did it because he wanted to show that actually he'd come to be a very different kind of monarch. When we think of monarchy, perhaps not so much now, but definitely in the past, the the job of the king was to bring stability, was was to to increase power and influence for his own people and for himself and for the kingdom. It, It was about protection. It was about authority. It was about power, power over others, his own people and other nations. A great king was a king at the time who dominated, weren't they? But Jesus didn't come to dominate. Jesus came to serve. I learned something this week um, about the carol that we just sang. Um, I, I, I quite like that carol. I don't know if you guys like that carol. It's not always one that we sing. But it, it's got a lovely story that flows through there, and it starts, doesn't it, with the little lamb, to, or sorry, the wind, isn't it? And then the lamb, and then the shepherd, and then the king, and then the message to the people. And it was written um, as a message of peace. It was written during the Cuban Missile Crisis as an attempt to bring a message of peace to the people at Christmas. Because it concludes, doesn't it, that this child will bring us peace. He'll bring us goodness and light. Being written at a time of conflict makes this carol have a lot in common with the two Bible readings we had today. The first one from Isaiah, the second one from Luke. The words that we read today were written in periods of conflict. During Isaiah's time, um, there was this constant instability as king after king changed as to what the future was going to be. The Assyrian nation was the dominant power and they were sweeping through and they were under a constant fear that they might be the next people to be swallowed up. 
But not only did they have conflict there, they had conflict with people that were supposed to be their friends. The kingdom, uh, 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 as we know it, was divided in two, the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. And the kingdom of Judah was under threat by the kingdom of Israel and by Syria, not Assyria. There are two different places. King after king brought a sense of instability. And into this, Isaiah speaks of a different kind of ruler, a prince, a peace, an everlasting kingdom, a stability that nothing can take away from. As Luke writes, Israel is under occupation. In fact, the whole census thing is a reminder to the fact that these people are not a people in charge of their own destiny, but that they're under the rule of others and they go where they're told and they do what they're told. And at, and at this, this time, time, the Prince of Peace is born. Today, our world continues to need peace. This week, during the heat bank, one of the ladies that comes along asked a question, question to the, the, the few of us that were here, and she said, do you ever you think the world will be good again? again? Do you ever do you think, think it'll, it'll be better? Be better? Do, you do you ever think, think we'll, we'll be in a place, a place where, where people, people aren't struggling, struggling anymore, anymore? Or, or we're not, not fighting, fighting with each other anymore? anymore. Our world is a very different world than Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. However, we're still a world that needs peace, aren't we? We're reminded of the conflict. Just last night, an alert came up on my phone to say that eight people had been killed in bombings in Ukraine. Just the other day, I think even yesterday, some people were shot dead in Paris in an attack. But not, but not just, just peace, peace from, from these, these things. things. We need we peace need in our homes. Peace, peace in our, in schools, our schools, in our, in our communities, communities, in our in country. country. Peace, peace from, from the stresses, the stresses and the strains, the strains that the world that seems, seems to be throwing at us at the moment. moment. And it can and be it tempting, can it? It can be tempting to ask, well, if Jesus is the Prince of Peace, why do we still lack peace? Why do we still live in a world that seems to lack peace? The answer, because we live in a world that still lacks him. The Prince of Peace does not administer peace through military power or even through political wrangling. The power of his peace is not found in the forceful restructuring of society or even through the breaking of our perceived enemies. The peace of Jesus is one of harmony in unity with God, which brings a sense of wholeness and well-being. It's a peace with no end, a peace that reflects the holiness of God as it moves the recipients of his peace towards justice and righteousness. Peace that brings inner calm rather than immediate circumstantial change. And as believers, as people here today that have come to celebrate the Prince of Peace, we are called to be his instruments of peace. Not only to find peace for ourselves, but to bring others towards that peace. 
Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, writes, As one made in the image of God, peacemaking, reconciliation is in my DNA, part of my identity as a disciple of Jesus Christ. People will know we are God's children because we show the family likeness. Given peace from God, we build peace. Peace has been our message throughout this Advent season. And today, if you are lacking peace, I invite you to receive that gift today. And if you know that peace, I invite you not to keep it to yourself, but to share it with the world around you. We're going to sing again, I think. The words will come up on the screen. It should be another video, Elsie. Do you need me to find it? Okay. number eight in the carol book if you want to sing along let's just have a word of prayer father god we just come before you and we thank you that you are the prince of peace our everlasting god our mighty god that you promise that you will bring a peace that endures forever and lord that starts by ruling in our lives and ruling in our hearts and we pray, dear Lord, that as citizens of your kingdom, we might live out what you've called us to do so that many more will come and know your peace, your grace, and your love for themselves. In Jesus' name.
So, so if you've if got you've time, got time and, you're and you're not in a rush to get back to your turkey, turkey have, a have a cup of tea, tea with, with us this morning. This morning. Anyway, anyway, let's, let's do, do the benediction, the benediction today. today. And I'm and going I'm to send, send you, you out. out. Go, Go in, in peace. peace. Amen. To love, love and, serve and serve the Lord. The Lord. Amen. 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 And God bless you.